just kicked off our video vlog with a little sparkly guy. Go back and check that out. I Right when I stopped looking for them, they come and hang out. So yes, you could all see I'm vlogging in the dark on purpose because that's when we can see little sparks of light. So fun. Okay, keep your eyes peeled for more. Uh, I, I love that. So fun for me. Okay, so tonight's topic, and it's today for all of you who are watching, today's topic is there are no idle thoughts. And this is a powerful message from the Course, which really reiterates and emphasizes that we have a choice in every moment to allow our ego to be the host of the party or to allow our loving inner guidance system to lead the way. And in fact, it's letting our loving guidance system be the host or be the hostage to the ego, as the Course says. And so our work is to really start to take seriously the fact that there are no idle thoughts. There's no neutral thoughts. Every thought we have is either emphasizing love or emphasizing fear. And in each moment, we have the opportunity to choose. We can choose to allow the voice of our inner guide to be our internal teacher, or we can choose to allow the voice of our ego to take over. And I've been experiencing this in many moments in 2012 now. Really, each moment has been an opportunity for me to make a choice, make a decision. And I'm taking that practice much more seriously than I was in 2011, a week and a half ago. Uh, I've, I've really made that my commitment and that my, my resolution to become extremely conscious of who I have invited in as my internal teacher. Is my teacher going to be my ego or is my teacher going to be my ing? And this is really what I want to ignite in you this week, is really taking on the responsibility of who you have chosen as your internal guidance system. And each moment offers us an opportunity to ask that question. Who is my teacher here? Am I learning from my ego? Am I going deeper into the falseness of fear? Am I emphasizing the lack of forgiveness? Am I deepening the illusion that I was holding on to yesterday? And each moment offers us that darkness or a lighter perspective. And in that moment when you decide, well, I actually don't like this teacher, and being guided in the wrong direction today, I choose my inner guide instead. That's when the miracle can occur. The moment that you have that slight willingness to allow your internal teacher to be the host of the party in your mind, you can no longer be the hostage to the ego. So this is just reiterating and emphasizing all of the principles that I teach, which is that you, each moment of your life you have the decision to choose love or fear. And your work this week is just really asking yourself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, who is my teacher in this moment? Is my teacher my ego? Am I the hostage to my ego or am I the host to love? And who am I allowing? What voice am I allowing to guide the way? And as you go deeper into your New Year's resolutions, there are going to be many moments and opportunities to be hard on yourself. I had a lovely conversation tonight with a good friend, an old friend of mine, who was going through a very difficult time, and she was really just getting down on herself. You know, look what I have done, look what I have done. And what I said to her was, you have everything you need to create powerful change. And the reason she has so much huge, huge, abundant gifts within her back pocket is because she's always been the type of person who has been willing to choose love over fear. She's always had the desire to do the work. She's had the desire to go deeper. She's had the desire to emphasize that she wants love to be the host of the party and not be the hostage to the ego. And so regardless of how many mistakes she may have made, or regardless of how long she may have stayed in the wrong situation, regardless of what happened yesterday, she has the most power that we really need, which is that willingness to choose the loving voice. And so I really want you all to give yourself a huge amount of credit because each of you have that. By watching these videos every Monday, you have the power to choose. You have the power within you to really make creative change because you're opening up a video like this and have the willingness to learn a new idea. And so stop worrying about what went wrong. Stop worrying about what last year did and what mistakes you made and how you have not been fulfilling your dreams or whatever it is that you think you have been lacking. 
And in this moment, recognize and honor, really truly honor the fact that you have opened this video in this moment. That in itself is your internal guidance system choosing love over fear. Just opening and pressing play in that moment is you choosing to be the host to love rather than the hostage to your ego. So be very proud of that and, and reminding yourself that on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, I choose to be the host to love rather than the hostage to my ego. And I choose my internal guidance system, my ing, as my primary teacher. And allow these mantras to be working through you and with you and remember that there are no idle thoughts. Every thought you have is either reinforcing love or it is deepening the darkness of the ego's illusion and you know what you want to be emphasizing. You want to be emphasizing that loving voice. So I hope you can take this very seriously. Enjoy these steps. Know that your teacher, me in this moment, I practice these principles. Every thought I have, I remind myself there are no idle thoughts. I remind myself I choose in this moment to pick up that loving voice once again and become the host to the loving party within me. And I, I really, really hope that you can take all that on this week and enjoy the beautiful, miraculous results that come. And I hope to see many of you this week. I'm going to be lecturing on Friday the 13th in New York City for my Experience Life Lecture. And I will also be live on Ustream. So you can watch me either in person or online. And I really, really hope to see you and be with you and and share more of these tools so that you can really jumpstart your year with a lot of love and grace. And uh, there's a lot more. If you look at the link below, you can get access to my January group or all of my lectures in Los Angeles, and Toronto, and again, Canada, and all over the UK, and Sun Valley, Idaho, and I'm going to be everywhere this year. So come hang with me. Have a wonderful week.